300% Mega Man X task may be the craziest thing you have ever seen. Now, if you don't know what the 300% task of Mega Man X is, as you can see on the screen, we have Mega Man X1, Mega Man X2, and Mega Man X3 being played all at once with the exact same inputs. And this 100% run, meaning we're getting 100% of the items in all three games, it's only like a minute slower than the 100% run of Mega Man X3. So by incorporating two other games into the mix, as we can see by Mega Man X1 and 2 at the top being in complete sync, and now X3 as well, it's only a minute slower. So this is going to be absolutely insane. Now I will say, the audio is a little chaotic. We are hearing audio from all three of these games played all at once, and uh, I, I wish there was a way I could balance it, but this isn't my video. The original video is linked in the description as always, and um, I will say there will probably be less downtime for me. Normally, um, I cut the video in between the boss transitions and in between the levels and I can take a sip of water or something, but uh, this time I doubt we'll have any time for any of that, so uh, buckle up, we're in for a ride. I probably will be rude and take a sip of water every now and again on camera. I try to avoid that, but uh, sometimes you can. And as we can see, Mega Man X1 in the top left is really just trying to be in sync with Zero there, it seems like. Mega Man X2 is already done with the stage. That's one of the shorter intro stages and one of the easier ones. <laughs> Mega Man X1 is clearly just keeping up with Zero at this point. Now that Zero is in a transition, we see better gameplay. This is going to be very interesting. Also, that thing at the bottom left is um, obviously it's the information. We can see the percent of items collected from each game. Zero percent so far because everybody's in the intro stage. And there's also, if you can see at the very bottom of the left side of the screen, there are the button inputs. So... We can see the controller inputs that are being put into each and every single one of these games. And again, I really wish we could like turn <laughs> the audio on for like one game at a time or something, but I'm unable to do that. I can't separate the audio tracks on this video, but uh, well, look, they even pause at the same time. I guess they have to, but crazy stuff already. X1 and X3 are still the intro stage. X2 is uh, playing around on top of a beetle, probably trying to... <laughs> compensate for x1 right now now they're both in cutscenes, so x2 will continue on with the level and this is just crazy the whole idea of this to me is utter insanity and that now that we got that sub tank x2 already has four percent crazy and getting that trick well both of the other games are in a cutscene, so it makes sense um it's hard to know what screen to look at um <laughs> we have to look at three or ones here i only have two eyes but i do have a sharing on it doesn't come up on camera but uh believe me well, it does come up on camera, but I have to edit it out. I don't want to scare you guys with my sharring on, but it's on. Don't worry, guys. So, yeah, X3 looks like it's starting Tunnel Rhino stage. X2 is getting to the boss of Flame Stag, and X1 is still in the intro stage, which is kind of crazy. And, yes, like I said earlier, this is a 300% run, so we are going to be getting every single item from every single game. Crazy stuff here. And, again, so X1 starting with Chill Penguin now. Normally by now, I'd be able to take a sip of water, and uh, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm sorry, guys. I hope that wasn't too rude, but we're not going to have any downtime for me to, like, cut the camera like I have it in these other tasks, so. And uh, if I'm going to talk for 45 minutes or however long this is, I should probably drink some water if I don't want my throat to hurt. <laughs> Got to take care of yourself, guys. Drink water at home if you haven't. It's, uh, it's good for you. But yeah, Flame Stag's been defeated. It looks like we're getting to the mini boss of Tona Rhino stage. Chill Penguin is just coming up. Oh my gosh, look at that sink. It, it's like, of course we're going to be seeing a lot of stuff where in one game it looks like someone's doing nothing. Like in Mega Man X1, they were shooting for no reason, but it was because they were killing the mini boss in Mega Man X3. And now that X2 and X3 are both in a cutscene, Mega Man X1 gets all the shine, and now it's back to X3. And I assume the main focus is going to be on X3 because I believe that is the longest 100% run. And since this is only an hour, uh, not an hour, only a minute and a half slower, 90 seconds slower than the straight up 100% task for Mega Man X3. That is, first of all, bonkers, but that makes me assume that we're going to be focusing mostly on Mega Man X3. Because Mega Man X2 is flying through, already a wired sponge stage. We're getting the sub tank here. Uh, Mega Man X1, we're getting the dash boots finally. Fighting Tonal Rhino and Mega Man X3. And oh my gosh, look at the Mega Man X2 guy <laughs> fighting Ghost of Tunnel Rhino. <laughs> That's funny. This, this is... I mean, like... Obviously, this is going to be impressive. It's a simultaneous run of all the games. And again, this audio is a little jarring. I'm probably going to turn it down for you guys, but... Um... <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought. 
There's so much happening. It's going to be very hard for me to focus and point out specific things, but I hope we can at least sit back and enjoy this impressive feat together with all three games basically being beaten with one controller. So those inputs at the bottom left are really going to be coming in handy. X3 just finished the Tonal Rhino fight. X1's finally getting to their... Oh, they go at the door at the same time. Look at them dashing in sync. That'll give X3 just enough time to pick a stage. Look at that. Great stuff. So there's Wire Sponge. I wonder how this boss fight is going to go. Wire Sponge and Chill Penguin at the same time. They looked out of sync for a second, but I know they're not. So there must have been some kind of input buffer. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Oh, and Mega Man X3 is even going for this heart tank at the same time? What? <laughs> how, does, how do you do this at the same time? This would be an interesting challenge for like a live stream one day, trying to beat all three Mega Man X games with one controller. I obviously could not do it this efficiently or this fast, but I could probably get Mega Man stuck in a corner somewhere in one of the games and while I fight a boss in another game. If you'd want to see that, maybe I'll live stream that in the future, but no promises, because that sounds very hard. Also, there is allegedly a task just like this with Mega Man 3, 4, 5, and 6 done at the same time, which 3 is already chaotic enough, these three, so uh, if you want to see that, leave a comment, but you're really getting me working overtime here. And we make the jump in X3. We get a cutscene in X2, thank goodness. Mega Man X1's going to Boomer Kawanger's Tower. And we get to see these crazy climbs because everyone else is in a cutscene. What good timing to just focus on Mega Man X1. This is the best time to focus on X1. Alright, X3's just getting out of its cutscene because we get the dash thing. And now X3's in the mix. And we see Mega Man X1 doing some, some nonsense so that X3 can <laughs> finish the level. That percentage counter at the bottom left is really nice. We have a total of 35% out of the 300. Okay, I was about to say, I wonder if Mega Man X is going to be able to wall jump up the spikes like normal. Because, I mean, there's a boss fight going on in X3. So, surely not. There's Surely we're not going to see all the same tricks. I, like, I'd be surprised if we see really any major glitch. But, you never know. Yeah, and the Mega Man X2 right now in Wheel Gator stage is just fighting blizzard buffalo that's all that's happening <laughs> for, for x2 i mean he, there he goes okay i was about to say he's slowly getting into the wheel gators tank or whatever but well blizzard buffalo is defeated that's good oh and we get the grapple jump to the other upgrade which gives Mega Man x1 the perfect opportunity to do iceless on the first try beautiful beautiful stuff and we get this amazing wall climb once again this is just... Again, my commentary will be lackluster. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a lot going on here. And on top of that, like, I can't even keep up with it. I don't know what to say about it. Like, it's crazy. So, just these tasks individually are crazy. So, I don't know. You guys asked for this. So, I mean, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I think this is cool. But I'm worried um, I'm not going to make a very great video for you guys. But I'm trying my best. So, we'll see. Boomer Kawanger's being fought. Mega Man's in the ride armor on X2. Uh, Dr. Doppler's doing this. Never good, unless you're playing chess. Let me move my mic down a little bit. Neon Tiger was just selected. Boomer Kawinger was just defeated. Now we, all the focus is on X2. There we go. Some invincibility frames. Using the gravel thing to get more distance. And now Neon Tiger is in the mix. Okay, X2's chilling out. Gotta let X3 get some shine. <laughs> X2's just grinding against the wall. This is what I meant by, if I did it, I would get Mega Man stuck in a corner to beat a stage. <laughs> I would just do something like that and then play the games individually, basically, the best I could. But I've never even tried this, so it could take me days. I will say Tales of Taylor is doing basically this exact thing with two Pokemon games right now over on his Twitch channel. So go go check out Tales of Taylor on Twitch. I don't remember the exact two games he's playing, but he's using a Game Boy player and a Wave Bird for his uh, GameCube controller. And he has, like, one Wave Bird, I believe, and two plug things plugged into two different game cues but they're connected to the same channel and i think that's how he's doing it i'm sorry if i got that wrong tales of taylor but i've been lurking in those streams and really enjoying it and if you like seeing two things beat at the same time check him he's literally doing it on live stream right now it's, it's obviously not as technical as Mega Man. it's a pokemon game you know it's a lot of walking around just menuing oh there goes wheel gator by the way will he go under the water or the uh the red brown stuff who knows no, he didn't do it. Nice. That's that's especially impressive considering Storm Eagle stage was still going on and mini bosses being fought in Mega Man X3. 
my word. I just, my only complaint is the audio. I really wish the audio wasn't, like, just listen to this for a second. X3 seems the loudest. Like, I'm glad we can hear the sound effects from every game, but, like, we hear bum, 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 and then we hear, like, do, 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 Mega Man X1. I don't know. I, I mean, what can you do, right? Like, I, you can't mute all the games. You never know which one someone wants to listen to, but maybe they could have done just the sound effects from every game. They could have, I mean, they're using an emulator, surely. Maybe they could have muted the music. I don't know. And that's not, that's not a real complaint. That's a nitpick. It's just, it's so much to look at. It's hard enough looking at it, but listening to all of it's crazy. Because now Storm Eagle on top of Neon Tiger's theme, on top of Bubble Crabs. I can't even hear Bubble Crabs theme. Let me listen for it. I can barely hear Storm Eagle. Wait, I think I hear Bubble Crab in there. I hear it now. Now that everybody shut up. <laughs> anyway, Storm Eagle is being fought. Neon Tiger is being fought. Bubble Crab stage is being completed. Oh my gosh. Mega Man X2 is not being focused on right now. We got to fight these bosses, it seems. Fair enough. It's, it's still just... This whole concept is insane to me. Like, how is Mega Man not falling into a hole in Mega Man X2? How is two bosses being fought at the same time on top of that? How do we already have 82% of the items? We're almost a third of the way there. Crazy stuff. The Sigma stage is going to be even crazier. Now, here's a question for you guys. Which game do you think is going to be finished first? I'm going to put my money on Mega Man X2... But Mega Man X1 is probably up there. I'm assuming Mega Man X3 is finished last. I don't know. I just know that's the longest one of all the 100% tasses. So, I don't know. We'll see. I have no idea which one's finished first. Mega Man X1 was the last one to finish the intro stage. Maybe it'll be behind. Also, Mega Man X2 fighting Agile right now. Not a problem for Tass. Maybe a slight problem when there's two other games going on. I mean, good grief. And uh, Agile is dead. Good job. Getting that uh, sub tank. There we go. Gravity Beetles. In a I mean, 98% of the items now. X2 already has 40%. X3 is almost like... Okay, there we go. X3 is catching up. I was about to say, X3 is almost half as much. It seems... It's, what is there? Like 25 items per game? They're, they seem to be like 4% each. I mean, there's, what, eight hard tanks, four sub tanks, four upgrades, and then usually a, another thing? That's only 21, right? I don't know. I can't count. It's not 21. What is that? 17? <laughs> I don't know. I know in X3 there's more upgrades because you have to get the ride armor. There's the Z Saber, technically. I don't know if that counts. There's, there's the chip upgrades, but I don't think they count. I think only the golden chip counts. X2 only has uh, eight hard tanks, four sub tanks, four upgrades, and a sure you can, right? So that's 17. X1 has the same deal. Unless X2 is counting the zero parts, then that would be 20. But then they'd be 5% each. I don't know. This. Is, <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm rambling. I, there's, I can't really do a great job commenting on this gameplay. <laughs> it's too much. I mean, Gravity Beetle's being defeated. We're going to Magnus Centipede stage. It looks like we just got to Spark Mandrill's boss fight. We have a moment of calmness. Normally, this is where I would take my sip of water and, like, you know, cut the video. But we're already in Magnus Centipede stage. So, you know what? I'm going to take a sip of my water anyway. I'm sorry for being rude, gamers. Forgive me for uh, hydrating. Yeah, dealing with the blocks. Hate that part. Spark Mandrill. That's the hardest part. Mega Man X1 at 1 HP, by the way. That's very risky. Also, X2, they seem to be 4% each. So there's got to be 25 upgrades. What What are they? What? I don't know. 8 hard tanks. 4 sub tanks. 4 armor upgrades. That's 16. The 3 zero parts. The Shoryuken. That's 20. Where are the other 5 upgrades? I don't know. I genuinely don't understand, but 
I could be dumb. I could be miscounting. I don't know. I'm probably just being dumb and forgetting something. I mean, I have three games on my screen, for goodness sake. Because if there's only 20 upgrades, they'd be 5% each. Right? I don't know. Look, I, I'm i a YouTuber, okay? I, I, I'm not good at math. Well, but it looks like we've gotten to the end of... of uh, no, we haven't. We're fighting a uh, violin. But we are getting close to the end of Toxic Seawars' stage. About to fight a mini-boss. The worst jump of all time in Mega Man X's stage. Crazy that that's being done while anything's happening. Okay, well, I guess not much is happening. Mega Man X2 is just kind of standing there fighting violin. Mega Man X3 is in a cutscene. Oh, okay, I don't understand what the whole... If you look at the bottom left of the info, we see the controller inputs. And every now and then, we see, like, P1 through 5. I'm not sure what that's about. Do we have, like, two control... Like, okay, what is that? P1, P2, P3... What What is happening there? It looks like almost... What? Why are the... Are, so, there's three Super Nintendos. That's six controller ports. So, yeah, that could be five controllers plugged in. But why? Obviously, player one is connected to both. But why are there four other controllers in the mix pressing almost every button at the same time is that like a synchronization thing I don't know I have genuinely have no idea apparently x1 has the advantage right now I'm not sure what that number is next to a uh, X and x2 where it says advantage no idea but uh, X does have 56% of the items x2 has 55 wait a minute how did X2 get a 55? I thought we were getting 4% per item. That means there are 20 items. It's 5% each. Okay, that makes sense. But why is... <laughs> I'm lost. I give up. I give up trying to calculate these percentages. I don't know how many upgrades are in X1. There's, I think, 17. So, like, that's going to be a weird percentage. But X2? I, I swear we saw an upgrade that gave only 4%. What do I know? Maybe there's something else in it. Maybe they're counting the Mavericks. I don't think so. But <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm I'm dumbfounded. Like, the only one playing right now is Mega Man X3. Let's just focus on that. We're about to fight the mini boss. We have the charged up weakness for said mini boss using the um the the chip inside that cart, whatever. Also, X2 just got some kind of lead. I don't know what that number is. Is that like frames left of the game? I, I can see that so you see where it says play at the bottom left screen the top of that section and yellow text that's like this is a replay that's like kind of how task works it's like that's how many total frames are in the game and it's replaying this entire thing at once like that's what the play is it's not like this is not actively being played by a human being so okay but now we're seeing the p2 p3 p4 p5 they're all doing different combinations every time i don't get it is it a way to, like, freeze the inputs on one of the games? That seems like cheating, if so. But they all still seem in sync. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm crazy. Oh, no boss skip for Crystal Snail. It couldn't do it. Shame. Shame. <laughs> Man. Man, oh man. Oh, we're over halfway there, by the way. 165% of the items. 61% in X1. 50, 59%. That's plus 4. It was just 55. Sorry, Mike. I didn't mean to hit you. I hope that wasn't loud. Uh, <laughs> X3 is still not even halfway there. 170% now. Okay, Mega Man X is doing that uh, go ahead and die once at Arbor and Armadillo stage so you could... Uh, get that out of the way interesting strategy Whew. Whew, excuse my yawning gamers I'm so confused <laughs> like I just I knew this was gonna be a hard video to make and like comment on but and you guys in the comments are gonna be like you're doing a bad job you should have talked about this and that or whatever in the third and you're partially right, but what? <laughs> it's harder than it looks, guys. I don't, I don't know what to focus on. Well, at least Crystal Snail's about to die, hopefully. 
Oh, Mega Man X1 got that glitched heart tank. Love to see that. I love it how it's using the uh, the minecart with momentum too. Always nice to see. Now arm and armadillo stage. Okay, looks like Mega Man X died there twice and look went there a third time, so we should only take one or two more tries to get the Hadoken later on. Uh, Crystal Snail is dead. Thank God. Hate that guy. Always preying on his downfall. Armored Armadillo is getting fought. Mega Man X3 took a new route to go to the Mysterious Mavericks Lair. Normally, he's been in Crushed Crawfish stage because that's faster, but I assume it was easier for the synchronization to go through it in Bolt Catfish's stage. Again, I don't know. I <laughs> try my best, guys. At least we're going to fight Vile soon. It's Vile, by the way. It's Vile. I just... I'm still confused what those things at the bottom left are when all five controllers come up. And I'll try to stop mentioning it, but I can't promise anything. Because, like, it is, it might keep bothering me. At least we have the regular input viewer. You know, we see A, B, and Y being pressed. A being pressed. Left being pressed. Those are buttons. I'm not sure what the controls are mapped to for them, but <laughs> the buttons are being pressed. And you can tell it's in sync. I mean, I love when they're all in sync, like, in a level. And you see, like, Mega Man X1 and X2 are in a level, but still jumping to the vile fight for Mega Man X3. It's like they're fighting ghosts. I don't know. Ooh, Mega Man X2 is about to fight, uh, Surgies. That's interesting. Wonder how that's gonna go. Looks like... What? Did you guys see Crystal Snail's shell right there for Surgies? What was that about? Do that again. <laughs> What? Why is he Crystal Snail? This is not even Crystal Snail stage. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh. <laughs> All right. Well. Um. Yeah, that was a. Crystal Snail Shell as Sergi's for sure. I'm sorry that left me so speechless, but that wasn't in any of the tasks. What caused that glitch? That's not even... It would make more sense if there was like, you know, you skip the mini boss in Crystal Snail stage or something and that glitches the game and then you fight Sergi's in Crystal Snail stage, but that was just... We're in Overdrive Ostrich stage. What is Crystal Snail Shell doing here? Why is that even in the memory? For, uh, whatever. I don't think I'll ever find the answer. Whatever. Also, I just had an idea about those weird percentages. Maybe they're weighted differently. Maybe like a hard tank is a certain percent, a sub tank is a certain percent. I don't know. That would be weird. But who am I judge? Let's look. Okay, a hard tank is 4% Mega Man X2. We know that now. There are also no decimals. So like for a game that has 17 items like Mega Man X1, I'm pretty sure... Maybe it's just like to compensate for that. It's like some items are this percent, some items are that percent, just so we could add up to 100 evenly. Okay, what is that with the controllers? 200 info, we reached 200. <laughs> we did reach 200 percent, that is true, but <laughs> have they been spelling stuff out this whole time and I just haven't noticed? That was cool, spelling out the 200 percent, but <laughs> with the controller, a button input reader. This is a, this is definitely the craziest task we have ever seen. At least I've ever seen. Maybe you guys have seen one that I haven't seen. You've been watching tasks without me. Shame on you, but... This is insane. I'm sorry I don't have better commentary for this, but... Good, goodness me. Oh, we're about to use... Oh, okay, so... Overdrive Ostrich landed. We're about to use the robot to break through the floor and vote Cabbage stage. I love that that happens. I didn't know that happened until the last video. Got a sub tank. They are spelling something. No, that's what's happening. Okay, I'm just stupid. I was wondering what player two through five was doing. It looks like they're just spelling stuff every time. Makes sense. I'll pay attention next time we get an upgrade and see what they spell. Maybe it's spelled sub, sub tank, or subscribe. I don't know. I'll try my best to pay better attention though. We're about to get a heart tank, so we'll look. And next one, we're about to get a heart tank. X1 heart, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Were they doing that the whole time? Am I that dumb? Also, X1 and X2 are tied for advantage. X3 is not even on there. Okay. Uh, 
at least we've answered the question of what controllers two through five are doing because that genuinely baffled me i didn't understand that but whatever going to morph moth the butterfly and Mega Man x2 you know i had to say it Mega Man x1's about to get another capsule upgrade let's see it i'm really paying attention to those controllers in the bottom left oh wait Mega Man x2 got a heart x2 heart okay x1 Bo did i say body that is the body upgrade I don't know how I missed that it was spelling something the first time. <laughs> I, I just saw all those inputs. I'm like, why are those being pressed? X1 body again. Okay. No, X2 body that time. That's what it was. Okay. Goodness. I mean... This <laughs> how many times am I going to say there's so much going on? X, X3 something. I couldn't even read that one. But it all is making sense now. It's all coming together. We're about to get some more upgrades in X3 so we can further prove this theory. It's moved from a hypothesis to a, a pretty widely accepted theory at this point by me. Because, I mean, X3 heart. Yeah, okay. This, that's, that's definitely what it is. I feel stupid. I feel like I should have noticed that immediately. <laughs> hey, but at least you know I definitely haven't watched this before. <laughs> All right, Mega Man X1 is going into Sting Chameleon stage. X2 is trying to finish out Morph Moth. X3 is trying to finish out Crushed Crawfish's stage. We're skipping the mysterious Maverick entry this time because we already did it in Bolt Catfish. X3 is going into the Submarine, going to sink it, turn it on its side, and then fight Crushed Crawfish. But right now, Mega Man X1 is fighting the Lizard Guy, Sting Chameleon. Forgot his name for a second. Getting him with those boomerangs. Barely even let him get a second to breathe. X2 is assisting with the fight by uh, giving him spirit. X3 submarine has sunk. X2 is fighting uh, that annoying boss. Takes a million years. X3 is entering the boss fight for Crush Crawfish. X2 is beating the mini boss in Morph Butterfly stage. And X2 is entering the boss fight for Morph Butterfly. X1 now has the advantage again. I don't know those numbers. Could be frames. I don't think it's frames, though. That wouldn't make much sense if that was frames. That's, it's very fast. 9,800 frames is not a lot. It's a 60 FPS game. <sighs> Morph Moth is about to die. X1 is uh, retra retracing his steps to get the items. Makes sense. I'm going to take another sip of water. I'm sorry for being rude. Actually, it's not water. It's vodka. Okay, that, that was a lie. I, 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 I just wanted to say that before someone in the comment section said that and, like, called me drunk or something. I, it's bound to happen. Are all the Mavericks defeated in every game? X1 heart. There we go. I believe all the Mavericks are defeated in every game. Crazy. Wow. Still at only 242%. This is all in X3, though. Okay, actually went back for that uh, heart tank. We didn't do the uh, zero glitch that time. Unfortunate. But then we'd have to pause all three games. And that would be a, a travesty. X2 is already in the Sigma stages, it looks like. Am I wrong? Does that mean the Shoryuken's 11%? these percentages what I'm I'm so lost I don't know whatever 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 dude x3 life tank yep nice but wait I'm pretty sure next three you get the helmet last so whatever oh no there's a sub tank okay I was Still, these percentages, how, how much do they weigh the... X3 does have the Z-Saber and the Golden Armor. Okay, that makes sense. But how are these percentages weighed? I guess Shoryuken's 11%. And I guess Hadouken is... 12%? I don't know. Oh, all three games paused. There we go. Love to see it. X, what are you doing? All right, Mega Man X3 is getting the helmet upgrade. Mega Man X2 is fighting Sigma stage or X-Hunter stage violin. 
I'm sorry for saying Sigma stage. My bad. But I'm not gonna stop. Alright, well, uh, Violin has died. Nice. I wonder if Mega Man X2 just went to his Sigma stage before getting all the parts. Just cause you, you, The Shoryuken is not in the first stage. I think it's in the second. If it's not in the second, it's in the third. But whatever. I, I, I'm not going to say anything else. I don't want to look stupid. So, okay. Mega Man X3 has 80%. Also, somehow advantages X1 at 9700. And Mega Man X2 is 8600. I don't get it. But... Info complete. So the Hadoken was worth 12%. Okay. Mega Man X1 is complete. 269%. There we go. So X3, I guess the Golden Armor and the Z Saber are each worth 10%. No wonder the percentages were throwing me off. They're weighted really strangely. I mean, I guess they are more important than all the other upgrades, but like still, what? That's not 10% that's not of the items. It's one item. Are you... Are you messing with me here? Well, X1 has entered the Sigma stages last. So maybe X1 will be the final one to finish. It did finish the intro stage last. But it does have some of the shorter Sigma stages. Who knows? Who knows what we're going to see, gamers? Not me. I don't know. All right, we're about to see the gold armor, though. I can tell you that. We'll see how much percent it is. Will it be 10? Will it be 5? X3 hyperchip 10%. Nice. Okay. Mega Man X1 is just done. X2 just needs a short you can, I guess, which is... I mean, I... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is so entertaining. There's so much we could be talking about. But I'm stuck on these percentages. <laughs> I apologize. Well, X3 is... X2 just killed Surge. He's the Sigma Stage version. X1's about to fight Vile and C0 get bought. X3 is about to fight God, Car Machine, Oi Nari. Interesting. Oh, and X1 did the cutscene glitch too. Crazy stuff. All right, let's let's see God, Car Machine, Oi Nari go. Get out of here, God, Car Machine. Whew, hoo wee, as uh, Morty would say from Rick and Morty. That's the show you guys watch on the internet, right? You internet guys watch that show. I guess I'm a person on the internet. To you guys. Anyway, I still don't understand what those numbers are for advantage, but whatever. I, I don't want to harp on them too much. We're getting some crazy gameplay in Mega Man X2 right now. Not going for the Hadouken? I mean, the Shoryuken? What's going on? Oh! Going in through the back? Through the back door? Why didn't they do that in the other task? That looked way faster. You know, normally I always comment like Dr. Light's always like, I'm not worthy. I'm not. If you go in through that entrance, I might have to agree with Dr. Light there. That's insane. Insanity. Well, X2 is 100% complete. So we know the Z Saber and Mega Man X3 will be the 300th percent item. Crazy. And uh, X2 is fighting the Shoryuken boss, as I like to call him, because that's what he was designed for, to be a Shoryuken boss. X1's going through some of the refights right now, starting with Boomer Kawanger. We don't get the two zeros glitch in uh, Mega Man X3. Unfortunate. Unfortunate stuff there, but uh, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Mega Man X2 is finished. X3 got Z Saber. X3 complete. 300%. I, I was like, okay, what are the controllers saying now? Because that doesn't look like a word, but they're saying 300%. That's actually really cool that they're using the button inputs to, <laughs> to, to show that off. Mega Man X is just now fighting the spider boss, but not really. It's really helping Mega Man X3 get past this uh, awful section, which fair enough. That section sucks, and it's fun to see Tass do it. So Mega Man X2 is doing the sure you can refights. These should be fast enough. Mega Man X3 is about to fight the uh, underwater boss. Mega Man X1 just killed the spider. Good. I hate spiders. The only spider I like is uh, Miss Muffet from Undertale. Now, I really don't even like her that much. 
I just I just enjoy Undertale as a game. Um, I would say Web Spider, but I don't like him. Sorry, X4. I like X4. I just don't like Web Spider. All right, Crystal Snail is about to die. Everybody pay attention to this. This is what we want to see. We hate Crystal Snail. I hate Crystal Snail. If you hate Crystal Snail, good. But if you don't, fine. And there he goes. Goodbye, Crystal Snail. I hate you. I need a sip of water again, guys. I'm sorry. Three sips in one video. I know. I'm, I apologize. That's one sip for every 100% of items collected in this task. I need to chill out, guys. I might be overhydrating. I'm going to have to pee or something. All right. Flamestack barely got hit by that Shoryuken, but the second one came in clutch. Mega Man X3 is doing the Z Saber rush, it appears. Mega Man X1 is still, still just fighting uh, the Sigma Stage 2. Mega Man X1 seems the most behind, yet uh, apparently it has the advantage. I don't know, guys. I don't fully understand it. Who knows? Who really knows at the end of the day? Not I. Well, Bubblecraft is about to get it, but be careful, Mega Man. There are spikes up there. Oh, they don't matter. I, why? Okay. Why was Mega Man X2 not Hadouken? I guess for Mega Man X1's movement, I don't know. There goes Toxic Seahorse. Now we have a. Uh, uh, I forgot the name of this dang thing. Rangda Bangda. Using the ice platform to get the Hadouken. That never gets old. I always love to see that. It's been a while since we've seen that. Great to see it return. Morph Butterfly is about to get it, guys. Up oh, Crush Crawfish is about to get it, guys. Man, uh, Sigma Stage 2 and Mega Man X1 just is, is over. It's over. Two bosses dead at once. Look at them. It kind of, not completely in sync, but they're close. It would have been cool if they were completely in sync, but... I'm still really curious as who's gonna win the who's gonna win the race between these games. I thought it would be Mega Man X2 or Mega Man X1. Mega Man X1 is not looking so good. Mega Man X2 could definitely pull it out. I'm trying to think. Well, Mega Man X3 has Mega Man X3 has another boss fight in this stage. That's, you have to fight Doctor Doppler. But Mega Man X2 has like a cutscene with the Zero fight that's like partially skippable, which we'll probably see the, the skip for that. Mega Man X2 is okay. There, uh, there we go. He was just shooting Wheel Gator. I was about to, not even really trying, just assisting Mega Man X3 at this point. I, I really thought Mega Man X3 was going to be dead last, but it's not looking like it because once, you, first of all, the Doctor Doppler fight's pretty easy, and second of all, after that, the Sigma stage is pretty fast in the task. It is a hard Sigma boss, the final stage, but the task does it pretty quickly. And Mega Man X1, of course, is still on Sigma Stage 3. But then again, once Mega Man X gets to Sigma Stage 4, it's uh, pretty much over. There's no, like, real cutscenes or anything. Like, Sigma talks. S sends a dog after you and such. But... I don't know, guys. Anyway, Wire Sponge is dead. Spark Mandrel's dead. And who is Mega Man X3 about to kill? Tunnel Rhino. Oh, Tunnel Rhino. Not even really trying to kill him. There we go. There, there's the Mega Man X I know. Killing Tunnel Rhino. Whew. Gee whiz. I feel like this is stimulation overload. It's just it's boss after boss after boss. Launch Octopus says Mega Man X is going down. Not really. Overdrive Ostrich is uh, trying to kill Mega Man X 2. Not really going to happen. Mega Man X3, uh, who are we fighting now? Neon Tiger, eh? Me fake Mega Rob Dad's favorite uh, Maverick that I'm aware of. Whew. Also, I, I will say I'm pretty sleepy, guys. I apologize. That might be contributing to my lack of good commentary in this video. But I'm still going to blame the fact that uh, there's three screens at once. Mega Man X2 just finished the boss rush, though. Nice. Mega Man X3 has at least one more. I can't even keep up with, like, who's left. But who's Mega Man X3 going to fight? Gravity Beetle? Gravity Beetle it is. Mega Man X2 is also in the lead, might I add. I don't know why it says advantage Mega Man X. I don't know where Mega Man X3's advantage is. But whatever. Okay, Mega Man X did just Hadouken the Sigma 3 boss, so... Mega Man X might pull ahead with a crazy comeback victory. This could be crazy. 
Mega Man X2 is not even sliding. I mean, I'm not sure why that is. Are they going to finish at the same time? That would be crazy. What if that's what this is all leading up to? Ugh, sorry, I got to stretch. They're, they're all about to fight Sigma at the same time. Mega Man X2 might be in last now, which is insane if true. Oh, wait, no. Mega Man X3 is fighting Dr. Doppler. For a second, I thought he was fighting uh, literally Kaiser Sigma. Oh, and Mega Man X2 does a cutscene skip glitch. Running into Sigma at the same time as Mega Man X1. But the Sigma fight for Mega Man X1 is probably faster, but we don't know how much dilly-dallying they're going to do to keep up with Mega Man X3. Mega Man X3 just killed Dr. Doppler. So once this cutscene's over with Mega Man X3, we're done. But they're all in their final cutscene. Mega Man X2 is going to be a little longer. Oh, Mega Man X1's really dilly-dallying with the dog. We might see a three-way tie, car style. With Lightning McQueen sticking his tongue out. Miss the Hadouken. Oh my gosh. I think that's what's being set up for, guys. I That's unbelievable. It, I could be wrong, but it really seems like we're setting up for a three-way tie here, which... That's what's going to happen to my brain if that happens. It'll go. Mega Man X3 enters Sigma's lair. Sigma pulls out his lightsaber in Mega Man X1. Sigma's dead in Mega Man X1. Mega Man X1 is on the final Sigma, Sigma stage. Mega Man X2 is beginning the Sigma fight. Mega Man X3 beginning the Captain America fight. Mega Man X2, I guess, is beginning the Wolverine fight, I should say. Mega Man X1's in the final one though. Mega Man X1, if both oh, Mega Man X2 and X3 have entered the final stage of Sigma. How is this going to end? Mega Man X1 is doing work, hitting a Hadoken on Sigma for no reason. Just a flex. Sigma's health bar is halfway there. Are we going to see Mega Man X1 stall for the other Mega Man X buddies? We might be. Mega Man X1 Sigma's one hit away. Mega Man X2 Sigma could be sure you can at any time. Mega Man X3 Sigma is getting hit in the head with Saber. Mega Man X3 Sigma's dead. Mega Man X1 Sigma's dead. Mega Man X2 Sigma's dead. Now, I don't think that was an exact tie. Let's back it up and do a review. All right, the official reviewing who dies first. Is that the exact same time for X X1 and X3? No, X3 was first. The next one, the next two. Wow, I got it completely backwards. I mean, really, it's it's basically a three-way tie. These are probably lined up as perfect as you can get them to like finish at the same time, which is insane. I mean, playing the games in sync is one thing, but finishing them at the exact same time with a photo finish, I literally had to rewind the video to see who won. Oh my goodness, and with 100% of the items in every game, this is, oh, Mega Man X3 is dying in the lava. I guess Mega Man X3 is technically not done, but I mean, I would, I would count killing Sigma as being done. That is incredible stuff. What an insane run, you guys. That was crazy. With the photo finish at the end as well. Again, I apologize for my lackluster commentary, but there was three games going on at the exact same time, which is hard to keep up with, but I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I hope you guys did too, since you've been asking for it for so long. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, comment your favorite part. My favorite part was the unexpected photo finish. I thought we were going to see a game like finish, and then like during the credits, we'd see another game finish, but I guess, I, I guess in order to stay in sync, they would need to be in gameplay for the same time as long as possible but the photo finish with all three sigmas being defeated within like a quarter of a second of each other is insanity in a 100 percent run as well two people racing these games are not going to finish that close together to each other and it was only a minute and a half slower than the world record task for Mega Man x3 so i'm pretty sure i could be wrong but I'm pretty sure this simultaneous 300% Taz is faster than the world record 100% for Mega Man X3. Maybe I'm wrong. Fact check me, please. I, I'm not Googling that in the middle of this video, but uh, what a crazy video. That, like, I'm exhausted just looking at that. Next time, I'll try to prepare some better commentary if you want to see the Mega Man 3, 4, 5, and 6 run. But uh, probably not going to be watching that next time. Uh, may, I might have an April Fool's video up for you guys on Monday, so... Uh, be advised for that stay frosty as they would say but next time we're probably going to be taking a look at Mega Man X4 and continuing the Mega Man X series but until then I hope you guys have a great time and I will see you next time it still feels I need to come up with an outro this still feels weird to say I don't know what's wrong with it but it feels wrong